I have been given the challenge to design a logo in five minutes and the same logo in five hours with the same brief. Is the differences between these two logos, the one that I spend less time on and the one that I spend a long time on, going to make a huge difference? Well, only one way to find out. I'm doing it. So a little backstory. Gigabyte have sponsored this video and challenged me to design a logo in five minutes and the same one in five hours on their new Aero Creator Series laptop. But before I get into the specs, I need to talk a bit more about the process. So the first thing I always do is one, I need to find a brief and I didn't think, you know, designing a random logo would be very good. So I went to Good Brief and what this website does is for free gives you a brief for a logo design completely generated. The company name is Arc and the industry is a technology and I'm designing a logo. Forget about the job description. I didn't want to make it so specific this brief that would make it so much harder for me to design a logo that's fun. So basically Arc is a company that researches new ways to discover fun things to do by combining open source software with an easy to use interface. The main product is an app that you can use wherever you are and implements cloud technology. The target audience are the seniors. They want to convey a sense of comfort. Now I've tried my best to do this within this channel but you know I wanted to go something a bit more modern like always no matter what I'm doing what computer I'm using I'm always sketching my ideas when I'm doing logo design projects for clients sketching these ideas down is just basically puking onto a piece of paper we all have these ideas when we're reading the brief and the idea of sketching at first is to just get the ideas onto paper simply get them on so you don't have to memorize them or you know fiddle with them in your mind so that's what I did I spent a couple of minutes just sketching a few ideas ideas on paper and only a couple of minutes and because I was sort of on the clock I only had like five minutes to design this logo I stopped sketching and I went straight for the Aero 15 inch laptop so the reason why Gigabyte have sent me the Aero 15 inch OLED laptop is because it is specifically for creators and they want to show you guys the power of this laptop and you know me I've reviewed many different laptops I've seen them and I've shown you them and this one has by far exceeded all my expectations I've never had had this much power inside of a laptop before in my life but the main cool part about this is the screen it is x right pantone color calibrated which is if you know as a designer having a calibrated screen is a must so here are all the features and specs of the aero 15 oled the laptop is really powerful and showing you using illustrator just shows how powerful it can be obviously illustrator isn't the most power hungry app in the world but it would have no problems 3d rendering any sort of objects that you're creating in adobe dimension or any other 3d apps because of the rtx nvidia graphics card inside it which is ooh, really good back to the logo the logo is sort of taking shape i'm playing around with the typography and some of the icons my first thought was to sort of create this arc like experience so i wanted it to be very obvious of an arc maybe a bit too literal so i toyed around with the idea in the sketching stages of creating an a with an arc and it didn't really work out with the time limit i had because it just never looked right i also toyed around with just doing an abstract version so instead of doing like the initials of an a r and a c which i could make an arc out of that maybe going for something a bit more abstract because this is going to be on an app icon would be better so i sort of create these two simplified lines in an arc shape and then in the last few seconds i literally created this sort of triangle arc shape now the reason for this is just it fits into an app icon super well it's not the most it's not the best logo in the world it doesn't look absolutely fantastic but i was pretty shocked that in like less than i think it was five minutes and like nearly six minutes probably that i created these three ideas down and i was able to decide on where i could go next now the next day i went ahead and sort of continued on with these ideas i did some more sketching to work out where i could go with it so i'm counting the five minutes as the five hours as well obviously i haven't been working on illustrator for five hours logo design is 95 percent here in the brain doing research and they're probably about five percent definitely five percent on the computer on the digital software that you're using so during this time again i was just sketching and i was using a lot of my time basically mood boarding and doing keyword searches but i did like the idea that i came across yesterday of the a and i wanted it to fit within the name arc i wanted the a to be the icon and i wanted to have it as a logo type as well so it would one fit into the app icon but it would also fit onto the website as the actual name.
game. Having a logo with the name on it is just a lot more effective and functional for people to be more brand aware. So people don't have to guess at what the logo really means. It's just very simplistic and what logo design should be functional. I ended up taking a picture of one of my sketches and I just dropped it into Creative Cloud and downloaded it again. And I just used the pen tool to create a perfect arc with just one line and then increasing the stroke. Now this is the easiest way to create this sort of monoline look. You could do this in like, a grid if you wanted to uh, and I should have really done it in a grid but at the same time I was just wanting to do it as a freehand sort of thing. I created the crossbar of the A within a, an entire circle and I was just playing around with it. The next stage of it was testing. I wanted to break this logo apart by scaling it, bring it down, seeing how thick it should be, but then also seeing whether it's too wide, too thin. But then I had this ingenious idea of like making it more of a negative space logo to increase the contrast of the arc so people can see it. It also adds a bit more uniqueness to the design. As you can see, the Aero 50 15 inch OLED laptop is doing really well with this. I didn't have any problems and it opened up Illustrator really well. But you can see I'm creating this logo design with absolute ease. Eventually I started to test it inside of a negative space and I did this by creating the app icon box. And this is something that I tell everyone to do, just create that box. Uh, so you can see what it's like, change the color and see what you can put through. I eventually really liked the wide version of the A, the arc, because it just had the most contrast to use inside of an icon and it was the most geometric. If I squished it down or just like warped it so it came further in, it wouldn't really fit as much. It would just sort of look like a standard A with a weird squiggle. And I wanted to get that arc perfect over the top. So in the end, I've got a few different logo ideas and I don't know which one you guys like best. Uh, I think I prefer the five hour one. Obviously, you haven't seen me work on this for five hours on the laptop because I've been sketching researching, getting the brief, and just basically mulling over what I'll be doing. But as you can see, we've got one with a negative space up at the top so that you can see the arc flowing through. It just gives more contrast to it. And we've also got one of the five hour ones where it just hasn't got that and it just looks a lot cleaner, less gamery and less, I don't know, detailed. To work out which one's better, you've got to ask which one's most functional. Obviously five hours isn't a long time for me to design a logo for anyone because there's so much work that goes into it. All of these logos could be used, but I think the last one, the five hour one, is going to be the best without that negative space cut. It reads really well when it's at small scales. You can take the RC off the end of it and it still works as an icon, but yet it works together all at the same time. It works on black and white, it works small, works big, works when it's backwards. I like the look of it. Now, the cool thing about the Aero 15 inch OLED laptop is that it's got an OLED display and I've never had a laptop with a true OLED display. So when I've been checking the internet on it or just watching general videos, I've been astonished with the display. It is unreal. I use OLED displays on my phone. I've got one on my TV at home, but I've never had one on the laptop. Not only that, if you're someone who worries about peripherals, so like, you know, connectivity, don't be because this is kind of like a desktop replacement. It's quite insane. It's got an Ethernet port. It's got USB, USB C's. It's got quite literally every port that you could need, as well as a dedicated power port as well for any of you guys that might be worried about that. And if you're someone that doesn't like to have the webcam, you know exposed all the time. It's got this neat little flap where you can like just flap it shut so no one can watch you, which is, I've never seen that on a laptop, but that's pretty cool. Again, this laptop is sturdy and it's world-class in my opinion. If I was to get a laptop for video editing, for some heavy duty 3D rendering, this would be the laptop, as well as for designers who need the power. If you're someone who does a lot of video editing, design work, Photoshop, rendering, whatever it is, this laptop works great and it's got the screen for it, the Pantone calibrated screen, which I've never experienced before, but it's amazing. So now it's over to you. I need you down below in the comments to let me know which logo you thought was best. I'll be checking these comments and responding back to them. And if there was anything you would do differently with these logos, I was kind of in a panic trying to get a cool logo design done. And it's never a comfortable experience sharing your process online of a logo that you're only spending five minutes on and then five hours 
and even then five hours isn't a long time. If you did enjoy the video, press that red subscribe button down below. And if you do want to learn more about the Aero 15 inch OLED laptop, the powerhouse, click the link in the description below where you can find more information. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.